It was a day like any other in the emergency room when Dr. Marta Alvarez was faced with a situation that deeply challenged her convictions. A young girl, just 13 years old named Carla Garcia, was rushed to the hospital due to severe stomach pain. What seemed to be a routine consultation quickly turned into a race against time when the on-call doctor, Dr. Soto, examined Carla and made a shocking discovery. The girl was in labor. Carla's baby is ready to be born, announced Dr. Soto. With a mix of concern and urgency as he prepared the delivery room, the shock among those present was palpable. Everyone in the hospital, from nurses to visitors, was stunned to see such a young girl facing such a critical moment. The situation worsened when it was discovered who accompanied Carla, a 21-year-old named Julio Miranda. The tension in the room escalated. Julio appeared nervous and avoided eye contact with others as Carla struggled through the labor. Dr. Alvarez couldn't take her eyes off Julio, feeling a mix of anger and despair. How could this happen? She thought to herself as the baby was finally born, an even more chilling discovery shook everyone present. The newborn had marks suggesting this was not the first trauma the family had faced. Unable to contain her outrage, Dr. Alvarez confronted Julio. What have you done? She demanded to know, as others in the room watched in silence, waiting for his response. Julio lowered his head, unable to answer, just as the police officers who had been called stepped into the room. This event marked a turning point not only for Carla and her baby but also for everyone who witnessed the birth. The hospital community came together to ensure that Carla received the support and protection she needed, while Julio would face the consequences of his actions. On this day, Dr. Alvarez would never forget the resilience of a young girl who, despite her age and circumstances, brought a new life into the world under the most adverse conditions. But of course, not everything is as it seems. It was a splendid morning in the city, the sun shone brightly, and the streets were bustling with people starting their day with renewed spirits. In the hospital, staff and visitors exchanged cordial greetings as they immersed themselves in their respective routines. However, beneath this facade of normality, an event was brewing that would leave an indelible mark on the memory of all those present. Everything began when a visibly agitated man burst into the hospital reception. I need help, please. My partner is about to give birth, exclaimed Julio in a tone of desperation. In the chaotic buzz of the emergency room, which surged with the arrival of more patients and visitors, young Carla, who seemed to be fighting to stay conscious, clung to Julio's arm. A blend of pain and fear was etched across her face as she whispered for help in a faltering voice, her legs weakening under the weight of her agony. As the usual din of the emergency room intensified, Carla's cries, belying her youthful appearance, captured everyone's attention. Looks of surprise and confusion multiplied, with some onlookers rubbing their eyes in disbelief, while others dropped items from their hands, shocked by the scene. The confusion quickly turned into collective concern when it became evident that Julio, clearly much older than Carla, was her partner. Whispers of dismay and judgment began to spread like wildfire. Please, help us. Carla implored with a heart-wrenching sob that sliced through the air, spurring the medical staff into action with an efficiency born of emergency. The doctor in charge swiftly took leadership. Take the young girl to the second floor. We might lose her. She ordered with authority. An assistant nurse hurried to the secretary's office, urgently voicing, We need the pediatrician in the emergency room, now. As Carla was rapidly moved along the hospital corridor, the space turned into a theater of raw emotions and ethical concerns, painting a picture none of the onlookers would ever forget. United by the unexpected crisis, the hospital community braced to face the repercussions of this shocking event. The urgency was palpable in the atmosphere when the on-duty pediatrician, Dr. Linares, received the emergency call and rushed to the delivery room. Upon arriving and facing the scene, his expression mirrored the profound impact. Carla, a mere 13-year-old girl, was about to give birth, accompanied by Julio, who was considerably older. Please, help her, Julio pleaded, his voice cracked with emotion as tears slid down his cheeks. But how is this possible? How is this possible? Questioned Dr. Linares, 
Unable to hide his dismay and disgust at the situation, this is disgraceful, he added, addressing Julio with a harsh tone. Meanwhile, overwhelmed by pain, Carla begged. Please help, help me, help me, she repeated desperately. The doctors and nurses acted quickly, providing her with a wheelchair and moving her to the delivery room. Once there, a nurse helped her into a gown and began monitoring her contractions and the baby's heartbeat ensuring everything was in order for the delivery, Julio tried to follow Carla, but a doctor stopped him, you wait here, given this situation, you'll have to explain a lot to us, he said in a cold and distant tone, desperate. Julio could only say, please, take good care of her, I trust you, outside the delivery room, the atmosphere was tense as the hospital community awaited the outcome. The people who witnessed the couple's arrival expressed their outrage and disdain towards Julio. You're a bad man. How could you do such a thing to a young girl? Some yelled, labeling him a pervert, while others called the authorities to intervene, surrounded by accusations. Julio focused on his prayers, ignoring the intruders. Inside the delivery room, the doctors heatedly debated the situation until the most experienced, Dr. Castillo, intervened. Colleagues, this is a heartbreaking situation, but our priority is to help this girl, he said firmly, urging them to focus on ensuring everything was ready for the delivery. Inspired by his words, the medical team diligently checked every detail of the equipment. Meanwhile, Carla was visibly terrified and exhausted. Where is Julio? Please, let me see my husband. She begged through tears as her contractions grew more intense. She kept looking towards the door hoping to see Julio. Doctor, it hurts so much. Please help me, she cried. Dr. Castillo explained as he prepared a dose of painkillers. I'm going to give you something to ease the pain, but you need to stay calm. Trust me, we will take care of you, he assured as the medical team prepared to face one of the most challenging and moving deliveries of their careers. Despite the medical team's efforts to maintain calm in the delivery room, the external commotion echoed loudly where Carla was being attended, the insults and turmoil directed at Julio penetrated the walls. Increasing the young mother's nervousness and anxiety, Dr. Ruiz, who was in charge of the situation, felt an indignation he hadn't experienced in his 25 years of career. The idea that a girl barely 13 years old was in this position deeply disturbed him, and initially, he refused to allow Julio into the room. However, as Carla's situation became more complicated, and given her emotional state, a nurse approached the doctor and said, Doctor, this young lady is very nervous. Perhaps we should consider, well, reconsider letting the young man outside come in. He is the father, and his presence might calm her, visibly upset but aware of Carla's needs. Dr. Ruiz finally conceded, All right, let him in, he murmured resignedly, outside the room. The tension was palpable. The crowd, convinced of Julio's guilt, prevented him from moving, believing he was trying to evade justice, just as the situation seemed about to escalate. The doctor in charge of hospital coordination intervened, making her way through the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, please, what's important now is that the young lady is calm and safe. This man is the father of the child, and she needs him, she explained firmly. In her words calmed the crowd, reluctantly, Julio rushed to the delivery room, his face marked by worry and the relief of finally being able to be by Carla's side. My love, I am here with you now, he said with a trembling voice. Taking Carla's hand and gently kissing her, weakened by pain and contractions, Carla could barely speak, but Julio's presence seemed to bring her some comfort, despite his frustration with the situation. Dr. Ruiz prepared to proceed with the delivery. It's time, Carla, you need to be strong. We're going to start, he announced, trying to instill confidence in the young woman. Carla, with eyes full of fear and determination, nodded. Doctor, I'm scared, but I'm ready. Please make sure my baby and I are okay. Everything will be fine, trust me, said the doctor calmly, beginning the delivery procedures. Meanwhile, Julio stayed by Carla's side, holding her hand and offering words of encouragement, promising that he would be with her in this moment. Deep down, both knew that life would change drastically after this day, 
but for now, the focus was on bringing their child into the world as safely as possible. The delivery was intense and emotional, but finally, little Robin had arrived in the world. Dr. Ruiz, visibly moved by Clara's effort and bravery, couldn't hide his relief. During the process, he had discovered something unusual that momentarily paralyzed him, but thanks to his experience and the quick intervention of his colleague, Dr. Castillo, they had managed to overcome the obstacle, very well, Carla, when I say one, two, three, you push with all your strength, okay, instructed Dr. Ruiz calmly, Clara, gripping Julio's hands tightly, nodded with determination, her face showing the intense pain of the contractions that intensified more and more, Julio, by her side, tried to offer words of encouragement, although his own anxiety was evident, he said, take a deep breath, Carla, and count to ten, yes, then push again, continued the doctor while Dr. Castillo diligently prepared the necessary instruments, come on, Carla, push, push, encouraged Dr. Ruiz, while Dr. Castillo added, Come on, Carla, not much longer, in a critical moment. Dr. Castillo expressed her concern. Doctor, even though Carla keeps pushing, I don't see the baby's head. Dr. Ruiz, remaining calm, responded, Calm down, colleague, I've already touched its head and neck, now the shoulders just need to come out, okay, Carla, push one last time. With one final, excruciating effort that echoed throughout the hospital, Carla screamed with all her strength, and at that instant, the sharp cry of the newborn was heard, here comes, Carla, oh, it's a boy, congratulations, announced the doctor, Carla looked exhausted from the effort of childbirth, and Julio, overwhelmed with emotion and relief, had tears streaming down his face, Dr. Castillo, smiling, approached the couple and asked, you have a beautiful son, what will you name him? We will call him Robin. Julio replied hoarsely, while Carla nodded with a tired but happy smile. The birth of Robin not only marked the end of a challenging and emotional journey but also the beginning of a new life for Carla and Julio. Despite the complicated circumstances and shadows that had clouded the start of their life together, at that moment, nothing else mattered. The little being they had brought into the world was a symbol of their love and union, in the hospital. The air was charged with a mix of tension and relief. Dr. Castillo carefully attended to the newborn, making sure he was breathing well and comfortable in his clean diaper. However, the joy of the parents, Carla and Julio, for the arrival of their son was overshadowed by troubling news. Dr. Ruiz, with a serious and concerned expression, approached the couple. I have something very important to tell you. He began in a grave voice, capturing the attention of everyone in the room. We suspect this is a case of abuse, it is not permissible for an adult to have a relationship with a minor, and as a prestigious hospital, we have informed the authorities, his gaze was firm as he pointed to the door, I ask that you leave the room, he said, directing his words to Julio with severity, Julio, heartbroken, tried to console Carla, stay calm, my love, I promise everything will be resolved, and we will be together soon, he said trying to offer some comfort amidst the chaos. As he left the room, he encountered an angry crowd, their faces filled with accusation and fury. Security agents intervened, pushing Julio through the crowd. At that moment, a desperate voice rang out above the murmurs, let him go, let him go. The crowd turned to see a woman advancing determinately among them. Who are you? A security agent asked, clearly surprised by the interruption. I am Clara's mother. The woman replied with a strong voice, around her, people began to murmur. How can you call yourself a mother when you see that this man has overstepped with your daughter? Someone in the crowd shouted, while others nodded and murmured in agreement. The doctor, who had been observing the scene from the door, knew he had to intervene. He remembered a crucial discovery made during the childbirth that could change everyone's perspective. Wait, I have something important to say he announced, raising his voice, as the crowd listened intently. All eyes were fixed on him, awaiting a revelation that might change the course of events. During the delivery, we discovered something that everyone should consider before making hasty judgments, the doctor explained gravely, each word hanging heavy in the air, 
filling the room with expectant silence, everyone in the hospital was on the edge of their seats. Eyes fixed on Dr. Ruiz as they eagerly awaited what he had to say at this critical moment, the fate of Julio, Carla, and her newborn was hanging by a thread, the doctor quickly stepped out and decided to address the crowd, please, everyone, calm down, I need to speak with Carla's father, everyone, please calm down, he then told the police officers that he needed to speak alone with the lady. Dr. Ruiz and Carla's mother headed to the consultation room so that no one would interrupt them. I am the doctor who attended the birth of your daughter, Carla. I need you to clarify something for me. When I was attending to your younger daughter, I was struck by something I saw while examining her. Although your daughter looks like a teenager, her intimate parts are those of a grown woman, an experienced adult. The mother listened calmly to the doctor and was not surprised. Not at all surprising. Doctor, my daughter's face might look like that of a 12 or 13 year old, but in reality, she is a full grown woman. The doctor was very surprised by what he heard. Doctor, since my daughter was very young, she did not grow as I hoped. I was very worried and took her to be examined, and the doctor told me that there is a hormone in my daughter's body that does not function well. It's the growth hormone, the name of which I can't recall at the moment, and it does not let her age. The doctor paused, pondering as he checked his phone to find the name of the hormone. It seemed like a light bulb went off in his head. Ah, now I understand. It seemed like Carla was underage, but when I examined her, she has the body of an older girl. Her intimate parts are those of an adult woman. So, Julio is innocent of what he is accused of, of course. Doctor, that's what I was telling the guards. But they wouldn't listen to me. They are the same age. They care for each other deeply. Dr. Ruiz and Carla's mother came out into the hospital corridors to speak with the people who were outraged by what happened with Carla. Ladies and gentlemen, please listen. The supposed young girl who came in this condition is not a minor. She is a 21-year-old woman, said the doctor. The crowd began to murmur, silence, please, silence, in the hubbub of the hospital. The once bustling corridors had transformed into a theater of emotional tensions and shocking revelations. Dr. Ruiz, clad in his white coat which lent him undeniable authority, captured everyone's attention. His clear and strong voice cut through the anxious murmur of the crowd. Clara suffers from a very rare condition related to growth hormones. He began, his words flowing with a calm that contrasted sharply with the audience's restlessness. Though she looks like a 13-year-old girl, Carla is actually a woman in her 20s. This may be confusing, but it is true, the crowd fell silent. Processing the doctor's words, exchanging looks seeking confirmation from one another, therefore, Dr. Ruiz continued, Mr. Julio, who has been unjustly treated, is completely innocent of the accusations imposed on him. The room held its breath. A man from the back broke the silence his voice tinged with guilt, how could we have been so wrong? Feeling the weight of every gaze, Dr. Ruiz approached Julio, who had endured the storm of accusations with silent dignity. Julio, I deeply regret not having understood your situation earlier, I apologize, said Dr. Ruiz, extending his hand in a gesture of sincere reconciliation. Julio, eyes moist with emotion, accepted the gesture, thank you, Dr. I just want the best for Carla and our baby, he replied, his voice filled with relief and gratitude, moved by the scene. Onlookers began approaching Julio one by one, I'm so sorry, they murmured, we didn't know, we didn't understand, Julio nodded, accepting their apologies with a patience that only true love and forgiveness can sustain, subsequently, the community's remorse materialized into a cascade of gifts for the newborn, stuffed animals, colorful blankets, and tiny shoes piled up to the ceiling of the hospital. Look, Carla, our baby is already loved by everyone, Julio said as he and Carla, smiling and overwhelmed by the generosity, organized the gifts together. The couple and their baby left the hospital not only laden with presents but also with renewed hopes and dreams for the future. Their story, which had spread like wildfire through social media and news outlets, became a symbol of misunderstandings and the community's ability to correct its mistakes. This teaches us to never judge without knowing the whole story.
commented a user online. Reflecting the sentiment of thousands, the dramatic twists and turns of Carla and Julio's story not only captured hearts but